lovelies welcome back to another cooking so i'll try to be as consistent as i can this year i mean it's kind of like tough but i'll try so today we are going to be making this delicious shrimp sauce that i made and i absolutely fell in love and i decided to share it on here so of course i'm going to be leaving everything linked in the description box so you guys don't worry about it you will get all the ingredients and everything in the description box i use different bell peppers I used um, the red, the yellow, and the green just to give my food, you know, the vibrant color and all of that, all the beautiful colors, and of course the taste as well. I used that. I used onions. I used carrots. Just think of all the vibrant, the beautiful vibrant. I mean, not only are the, are they colorful, but they are nutritious as well. So you know, just have that in mind. Um, I used carrots. I used these so because I didn't want my onions to be like in the puree form. I wanted it to be blended, but not as much, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm here cutting off my carrots. So after this I heat up my pan and I'm going to I'm adding my oil you can use any oil avocado oil olive oil whatever oil you're using cooking and then I'm going to be adding in my cleaned and washed shrimp I'm going to be adding in the sesame oil I'm going to add in some soy sauce I also added in some oyster sauce just you know adding all the goodies and then I am adding in my chicken seasoning this is actually the no brand um, chicken seasoning and then, then I'm going to allow this to cook um, allow my shrimp to cook and get done After that, I added another oil to the pan. I took out the shrimp and added another oil to the pan where I now went ahead to add the onions and then add my carrot. I added in the carrots first because if you know carrots doesn't get done, you know, quickly like that. So I needed it to do some cooking before adding my bell peppers. And I also went ahead to add um, some habanero pepper. If you don't like spicy, then you can skip that. But I added habanero pepper and added some garlic, some more garlic into it. Here I am adding my um, starch. You know, you mix it in water and then add it for thickness. And then I added more water just so I can have, you know, I have enough sauce. I added more water. So you add water according to how big you want your sauce to be. So I added more water to it and tasted it and added more, a little bit more seasoning. And then I'm going to cover that up and let it cook for about 10 minutes. And then after that food is ready, you can now serve with some white rice or whatever you prefer to serve it with. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will definitely be seeing you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like this video, share it. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done that already. And I will definitely be seeing you guys in the next one. Also, do not let me know in the comment section if you love this and if you will be trying this. Bye!